Outrage. Prince Harry goes mad when entire institution bluntly blocks his private chat with King Charles. Imagine this, a royal family drama unfolding like a gripping TV series with plot twists, emotional confrontations, and a sprinkle of scandal. Picture Prince Harry, the once bubbly royal turned renegade, facing off against the very institution he was born into. This isn't just gossip, it's a real-life story that has captivated millions. So, what exactly happened when Prince Harry tried to connect with King Charles, and why did it all go awry? Buckle up, because we're diving deep into the royal soap opera. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. T.O. understand the outrage. We need to rewind a bit. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stepped back from royal duties in early 2020, a move that sent shockwaves through the monarchy. They sought a life of independence, free from the heavy chains of royal tradition. But as we all know, stepping out of the royal spotlight isn't as easy as it seems. Harry's relationship with his family has been a roller coaster ride, filled with public statements, heartfelt interviews, and, of course, the occasional royal shade. So, when he attempted to reach out to his father, King Charles, it was more than just a father-son chat. It was a symbolic gesture, a bridge over troubled waters. Or so he thought. Just when Harry thought he could mend fences, he faced an unexpected wall. The institution, representing centuries of tradition and protocol, bluntly blocked his attempt to have a private conversation with King Charles. Can you imagine the frustration? It's like trying to send a text message to your friend, only to find out their phone is out of service. But why would the royal family stand in the way of such a personal exchange? Was it a matter of protocol, or was it something much deeper? This incident opened a floodgate of questions about the evolving dynamics within the royal family. Let's take a moment to reflect on how this situation must have felt for Harry. Here's a guy who has openly shared his struggles with mental health and the pressures of royal life. He's made it clear that he wants to foster a closer relationship with his family, especially after the loss of his beloved mother, Princess Diana. Imagine reaching out, pouring your heart out, and getting met with silence. It's like being in a room full of people but feeling utterly alone. Harry's emotional upheaval resonates with many of us who have felt disconnected from loved ones. Social media exploded with opinions. Some people expressed outrage at the institution for blocking the conversation, feeling it was a blatant disregard for Harry's attempts at reconciliation. Others took a more empathetic approach, arguing that the royal family has a duty to maintain certain protocols. This brings up an interesting point. How do we balance tradition with personal relationships? Have you ever faced a similar dilemma in your own life? Maybe a family member didn't approve of your choices, or a friend ghosted you for reasons unknown. It's a relatable struggle that many can understand. So, what's the fallout from this royal debacle? The incident has sparked conversations about the future of the monarchy and its ability to adapt to modern relationships. As we see younger generations becoming more vocal and independent, will the rigid structures of the royal family hold up? This situation could serve as a cautionary tale for organizations everywhere. Are you stuck in outdated practices that prevent genuine communication? It's a question worth pondering. As we digest this drama, it's essential to extract some valuable lessons. Here are a few takeaways to consider. Communication is key asterisk asterisk. Just like in any relationship, open lines of communication are vital. Adaptability matters asterisk asterisk. Institutions, whether royal or corporate, must evolve to meet the needs of those they serve. Empathy goes a long way, asterisk, asterisk. Understanding the emotional landscape can foster better. Let me share a quick story. A few years back, I had a falling out with a close friend. We both held on to our grievances, thinking we were right. It wasn't until a mutual friend intervened and encouraged us to talk that we realized how silly our misunderstandings were. Sometimes, all it takes is a simple conversation to mend what seems broken. Can you think of a time when a chat changed everything for you? While royal dramas may seem far removed from our daily lives, they often reflect universal themes, family struggles, the quest for understanding, and the challenges of navigating relationships. 
This incident with Harry and King Charles shines a light on how communication barriers can affect not just families, but entire institutions. It's a reminder that, regardless of status, we all share similar challenges. As we ponder the future, one question lingers. What's next for Harry and King Charles? Will they ever find common ground, or will the rift deepen? The royal family's response to this situation could set a precedent for how they handle internal conflicts moving forward. In conclusion, the saga of Prince Harry and King Charles is more than just sensational news. It's a poignant reminder of the importance of communication, empathy, and adaptability. As we navigate our own relationships, let's strive to open up those lines of dialogue and bridge the gaps that keep us apart. Now, I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this royal drama? Do you think the institution was right to block Harry's chat? Share your insights in the comments below. Let's keep this conversation going and learn from each other's experiences. After all, we're all just trying to make sense of our lives, and who knows, maybe our stories can help someone else along the way.